Wow. All sorts of fun stuff inside then. So if you hit the Tesla logo at the very top in the middle there. Where? Yeah. And that'll drop down in a second. You have some fun stuff to play with. <laughs> oh yeah, the whoopee cushion. What is that? So now you can Pushing pinpoint which seat. <laughs> you have a little drop down menu there that gives you seven different farts to work with. Oh, oh shit. What? Oh. <laughs> There's different so farts. Right now it's on demand, so you can actually just push this little scroll wheel here and it makes that noise whenever you need it. Like, oh my god. You can change your turn signal to be fart noise instead of the normal clicking noise. So, really critical for driving. Yes. Oh man. There's also a romance mode. You can check the. It gives you a little crackling of fire. Oh, the fire. That turns on the heated seat. Tap the screen once. Also gives you some romantic music to crank up if you wanted to. Oh yeah. Serves no purpose whatsoever. Oh, I need to see if can. <laughs> Did you hear that? I can't say. You ready, Enrique? Uh huh. All right, hang on tight. I bet you're gonna crash five times. Five? You suck. <laughs> How do you back up? Uh, first one. Dude, you suck. I told you. Look at you. I'm a broke bad driver. it. <laughs> yeah. Just okay? turn it on. Just like run over every, every car. car. <laughs> so, uh, this stuff isn't working anymore? I don't know. Try it. <laughs> turn the car on. What if you actually did? Yeah. <laughs> So if you remember from a couple of vlogs ago, uh, we went to Five Below and we bought a bunch of random stuff. And one of the random things we got was an ice cream maker. And also in that same video, I said I didn't have the ingredients and stuff to make the ice cream, so I couldn't at that time. So I was gonna save it for another vlog, and that vlog is today. So we're gonna try using that $5 ice cream maker and see what kind of ice cream it makes. We're gonna try making chocolate ice cream. And um, supposedly it's supposed to be pretty good, so. We'll find out for ourselves. Here's the Hershey's ice cream maker. All the ingredients that we need to make chocolate ice cream. According to the instructions, really all you need is a quarter cup of cream, a quarter cup of milk, and two teaspoons of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Sounds pretty simple, and there really aren't that many instructions, so is it too good to be true? I don't know, we'll find out. It says to fill the ice tank with about half full of crushed ice, so we did that already. So after you fill the ice tank half full with crushed ice, Add three tablespoons of coarse salt. We'll do that now. That's three. Okay. Then next it says to fill the ice tank with more crushed ice and add three more tablespoons of coarse salt. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna need some more ice. So after we filled it halfway and put salt, we filled it a little more and we're putting more salt. We're just putting the cover and the spinning handle back onto the ice tank. Okay. It's all put together right. And then we gotta push it down to lock it into position. Okay, so it's locked into position. So after we did all that, after we closed the lid, it says attach the ice cream spout to the maker. So here's the spout. Okay, all right. And then it says you are now ready to begin making ice cream. So for chocolate ice cream, you need a quarter cup of cream. Do you know how to read a quarter cup? Uh -huh, one fourth. Yep, one fourth. You can just use regular heavy whipping cream. So that's all that I got. Just that pick and save for your local grocery store. A quarter cup of milk, okay? All right, quarter cup of milk. And then two teaspoons of Hershey's chocolate syrup. I don't know, I just got the generic kind. It's all the same, right? Mm -hmm. Here you go, pour it right in there. Let's stir it up. The mix that we made for chocolate milk is just going to freeze right over this. Okay, so you close the lid, then you dump it right over the tank. Pour it right in there. Start mixing. For three minutes, we gotta do that. I'll pour a little more. So we've been turning this for about three minutes now. Now you open the lid like this, then you put this thing, there's two slots. While we were turning it, we had in the first one. But on the second time you're turning it, when you're ready to get your ice cream, you put it in the second, in the second slot. 
So it's really close to the ice cream. That way, since it's so close, it'll shave the ice cream into the cup that you put down there. I'll turn it. There you go, look at all that ice cream. Perfect. The stuff that it did make though, the little bit of it, is really good. Right, Enrique? Yeah. 